right, so this is our second day of Abo Park. We're at the Spanish Village Art Center. And this is a collective of between 200 and 250 local artists. And they get to rent these studios for a lot less than they would ordinarily on their own. So, first of all, the thing I love is just the color of these stones in back of me. It's really cool, multicolor. Uh, what you can do is you walk into each studio, and if you are going to film, you have to ask permission. But there's a lot to see here. There's, uh, there's glass blowing, there are painters, sculptors, all types of artists here. Okay. You know, this is uh, in progress. Because I haven't finished the statement what, of the flowers. What do you flower. see happening? Just the statement <laughs> in the middle of the flowers. That's all I have to oh, do. Oh, okay. Yeah, other than that, it's finished. I do that because I don't want people to look at it and think it's finished if it's not. And it's like, right. well, what's wrong? It doesn't have yeah, anything in the middle of flowers. So, yeah. And well, then also, like on this one with the white canvas, I want them to think that's how it's painted. That's just the bare canvas. So that's why I put in progress. Bye-bye. Yeah. Thank, right, thank you. Enjoy talking to you. Do you have a photograph you. that you go off or is it all up here? Just make up. Now, if I go over to the beach, I do take photos always. I'm always taking photos. Yeah. But most of what I do is just my own interpretation of what I see. Yeah. Uh, I have a lot of pictures from that area, but I don't make it exactly like any one no. photo. And sometimes I do big ones, two of the marsh grasses. I love it. Yeah. yeah. Come back and see what I have next time. I'll have uh, more. How long will... Uh, how how soon do you plan on working? I again? hope maybe within the next, this month I'll get a few. I've had so many orders lately. I was almost overwhelmed with commissions, so now I'm getting caught up. I have one back there, a bigger one to do. And um, a lot, what happens, they're not all commissions. Some are commissions, but then a lot of times people buy them when they're about halfway finished. Yeah. They like my color and my style. They can see so they're how it's coming out. Right. Mm -hmm. Like that one. Yeah, yeah. They bought this one before it was so finished. How much yeah. would that sell for? Nineteen hundred for that one. Mm -hmm. That's a that's a beautiful one. Mm -hmm. Love the color. color in here. Yeah, we all love color in <laughs> here. Hello, good. It's okay to film? Of course. All right. All of my work is made out of an egg shell. Everything is a natural shell. This one I'm working on is a Raya egg shell, and it's going to be a playable Monopoly set. Oh, wow. So the game pieces are Finch <gasps> eggs. This egg will eventually sit. Yeah. And it's, these are the drawers. How do drawers. you clean them to get the egg out the, the... Those are done with a syringe and then dipped in bleach. Okay. <laughs> And to make them harder, like they go through a series of paints and lacquers, um, up to 12, 14 coats, so they're much stronger than you okay. think they are. Yeah. Do they use uh, resin by any chance? I do use resin. Good. good. Resin automobile clear coat, 
Yeah. Automobile paints, gold leaf, metal plate. And you make the little figurines too out of the eggs or no? These, I, I got addicted to 3D printing during COVID. So <laughs> I found out that I can make a lot of stuff for eggs. With the 3D paint? 3D? Is it? Is it? <laughs> yes, that's what um, I was able to print this. Uh huh. Kind of material? That one is resin, um, liquid resin. Liquid resin. But the detail is just crazy. It's amazing. Is cool. Twenty-seven people that work in here. Yes. Wow. We each come once a day. Okay. Yeah. And and this is all enamel oriented. Correct. And it's all on metal, so we have copper, silver. We have don't have gold right now. Okay, that's a little expensive. Yeah, the silver is <laughs> kind of cheap. <laughs> how long how long you've been here in Spanish Village? So you've been here since 75, wow. Yeah. We, the most of us came from San Diego State. Ah, okay. And Dr. Tanzer was our, our teacher, and then it has, she has since passed away. Mm. But um, it is neat that we all started together. Wow. So we're more, we're more ancient now. <laughs> so you're one of the originals probably, right? There's probably not a lot of people who have been here longer than that. That's awesome. How long have you been working on that piece? Really? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> it's starting to get old and I'm like, come on, be done already. <laughs> Do you share the studio with other artists? Yes, there's three of us right now. Okay, and you all make different things, basically. We all make different things. Oh. So Victoria does the jewelry. Okay. She uh, carves things in wax, and then she casts them in sterling silver or gold. And then RD works in um, anything oil and acrylic. Okay. I do. And you're in Natasha. So you do painted paper collage. Right. So this is a map. Oh, okay. Painted. This is an old catalog page. <laughs> and I ripped them up into little itty bitty pieces. Oh, interesting. All right. And I glued them on top of the painting to get my texture. And how, how long have you been working in the Spanish Village? I've been in Spanish Village since 2006, but I've been in this studio at least since about Okay, excellent. All right, well, thank you.